Let's go around here. In today's exciting episode, we put a window in this hole on the side of a house. Freshly painted. Facing as well. You can see my little groove that I made in all its glory. play that's what you want while we wait for this scaffold to arrive set up the router again with this triangle piece because we want the new windows to replicate the old windows and have that little scalp out of there They do, they do these um, talk things often. Tell you what, Pardo, it's a lot taller from this side. Great success, Scott. Great success. Alright, Sam? Awesome. Hey. Hey, hey guys. Welcome. Click like and subscribe. Here we are, up on the scaffold, a temporary scaffold. We're in the neighbor's driveway, so we want to minimize the amount of time that the scaffold is here. Pardo has put that multi-cut there. Another one over here. Cut some weatherboards out. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. It sucks that I can't change the deck. Like a bit of a... Monster. Yeah. The depth adjustment here is broken, so I can't change it. So we're like, no. what's the depth on this thing? 80 mil or something? Yeah, 85. Bit, yeah. A little bit overkill for this. What do you think, Pat? You're gonna throw a karate kick. Was that is that too ruthless? Karate kick. It's probably a bit too ruthless for me. Yeah. Plus we don't know what's the little inside. bit a little bit amateur. Eh? Oh, it'd be good to have the camera on the inside. Maybe. Um... Oh yeah. Okay. I'll take this one inside. Yeah. 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 Crafty little idea. There's so many different levels here. The bottom is on an angle, the side is in and out. You know, there's room on the side here for a weight to go down. It's difficult to measure it and get it exactly right. So, we're gonna make a little template. You gonna hold it flush? Yeah. Okay. So, we put a laser line. There's a pencil mark there, you probably can't see it, but the same pencil mark is here. Yeah, the marks are lining up. Yeah, sweet, that's good. So the head flashing above this window goes in here against the wall. So because it goes against the wall, we need the weatherboard out of its way. You probably can't hear what I'm saying with this wind. Pardo performing a New Year miracle. I don't know about that. Know. Wow. Trying to feed it in behind the weatherboards here. Uh, very sticky stuff, so as soon as you touch anything with it, it's sort of doomed. So there we go, this is what is called a siltrack. Made of steel. 
and it catches any moisture that escapes past the window. Okay? Uh, even the best miss the nails. All right, still tray in. Camera on. Window ready. Pido excited. <laughs> Go, bro. Dog. Wow. <laughs> epic footage. Hashtag bro. epic. <laughs> Look, there's a window. Right. Yes, today we got that window in. Still needs to be straightened up a bit. But uh, the way the sun goes today, really hot on this side, and then it works its way around to that window. So we're trying to get the head flashings on this side ready, and then we'll go around there, straighten the window up and put one of these head flashings above it. So these need to be on for the inspection that we have tomorrow. So we get a lot of questions about how we do our windows here because when we chuck that big window in, for example, it wasn't complete. There's gaps around the sides, gaps above the top. So if you watch to the end of this episode, I'll show you exactly how it's all closed in. On this side, we're gonna put the head flashings above it. That's what needs to be inspected. But the window that we just put in around the side, that has to be done to completion because the scaffold is coming down, it's in the neighbor's driveway, we don't wanna leave it there forever. So we'll get the scribers on there, the head flashing, everything. So you can see exactly how it's done. Here in New Zealand. So that's the little upstand that we create. And we put a bit of silicon in this corner. And uh, that stops the water going into the cladding. So as with the rest of our renovation, we take cues from what is currently on the house. So there's timber above, and then they've got this sheet metal wrapped around it. Our metal is just like, kind of like a steel, a thicker steel. So we don't wrap it around in the same way, but it goes above the timber and over. If this was a new build and the windows were aluminium or something, we wouldn't have the timber. The timber is only to make it match. Be right. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. Sweet. So we've got the old window on the side there, but this morning we're having the head flashings inspected. There's two kind of wrap inspections. The first one is they want to look at all the paper and make sure you've taped up all the window openings. And we've had that inspection. We've got the weatherboards up to the top of the windows. And now they return 
to look at the head flashings. They need to see it before you put weatherboards over it. So that's this morning. And then we can finish that window off after that's passed. And we can also uh, carry on cladding. Hey Pato, what was the result of the inspection? Failed. Nah. Pass, bro. <laughs> of course, eh? Ta -da! You never doubted it, though, right? Yeah, of course not. So that's how we do it here. We have the weatherboards go in, and then the window facing goes over, and then we finish it off with a scriber like this. And I'll, uh, I'll pop this on, and then I'll. These conditions are terrible. So yeah, that's how we do windows here in New Zealand. Might be different where you are. I've heard that some people put the window in first, they put the cladding to the side of the window, and then you don't have to do that scriber thing that we do. Uh, we've always done it this way, with the scriber after the cladding, the window overlaps the cladding, and that scriber finishes things off. So let me know in the comments below how you guys do it. Um, always keen to learn the different ways of building around the world. It's always very interesting. Thanks for watching this exciting episode. Catch you guys in the next one. There we go, primed. This whole wall's getting painted later. We have to get the scaffold out of the way of the neighbors. All right, see you in the next one.